this is my latest hair oiling routine. This is what works for me. And I'm going to keep it very simple for everyone out there who wants to oil their hair, but they feel like it's just such a daunting task. I used to feel that way because I would mix a ton of oils and I wasn't sure if I was doing it right or not. And yeah, it just got a little bit confusing. So I'm going to make it really simple. You're only going to need two oils and that's basically it. I recently started oiling a lot more than I was before because my hair has been shedding and I think it's because I got sick and when you get sick your hair will shed like three to six months later which is really weird but it kind of makes sense with the timeline so that's why I've really been focusing on oiling my hair more and more and these are the two oils I've been using okay and you don't have to use these I'm just telling you what I like to use and I've used other oils they all work but I have really, really been liking these two. You're gonna for sure need a rosemary oil because it's been shown to actually stimulate hair growth because it's been shown to be effective. So I'm using it to try and thicken my hair. Basically what you do is you take rosemary oil. I don't mix it with a carrier oil right away. I used to, but I don't do that anymore. I wanna make sure I'm getting enough rosemary oil on my scalp because that's where it's supposed to go. I take a full dropper and I literally put it on my scalp like all along my scalp like this a few drops at a time and then you massage it on your scalp i just use my fingers sometimes i use the massager but you don't need it just use your fingers and make sure you're moving your scalp make sure you're not rubbing your hair what you want to do is literally put your fingers on your scalp and move your scalp you, you want to see this kind of motion like your whole scalp is moving so do that for like five minutes massage your scalp really really well because you want to stimulate blood flow to your scalp and then i've been using batana oil i've really really been liking it i like that it's not sticky i like that it's not super oily and i also like that it smells good it doesn't smell bad so it's not really oily it's not going to make your hair drip in oil it kind of like sticks to your hair and it just stays there the consistency is like this so you kind of melt it between your fingers before you put it on your hair you can also do this with uh, coconut oil but i've really been liking batana it smells like chocolate and coffee and what i do is i take the batana oil in my hands and then I put it on my scalp and my hair where I put the rosemary oil. I massage it in. And then I go ahead and take the batana oil and I put it all throughout my hair. By the way, make sure you brush your hair before you do any of this. Don't do it without brushing your hair because it's going to be harder to get on every single hair strand. Once you're done, you want to take a shower cap. I just use these plastic shower caps. You don't need anything fancy. And I kind of wrap my hair around like this and I put it in the shower cap. And I know this is really controversial. A lot of people are going to disagree with this, but I sleep with the oil in my hair. But I make sure I have this on and I also put a towel underneath so I don't get any oil on my pillow. But when I use Batana oil, I don't get any oil anywhere if I have this on. When you wake up in the morning, make sure you shower. I wash my hair with shampoo like three times when I have oil in my hair to make sure I get all the oil out. And then I condition my hair. As usual, I let the conditioner sit for like two minutes. I brush it out, I let it air dry, and I'm left with really shiny, soft hair. I can tell a difference even after one night of oiling my hair. It really works. Like you should be oiling your hair. And like I said, you could use this oil. Definitely get a rosemary oil. You could use batana if you want, but you don't have to. You can use any oil like jojoba oil, argan oil. You can also use coconut oil. But like I said, I've really been liking this. So I'm going to link it on TikTok shop just in case you want to give it a try. If you don't, no pressure, don't get it, get whatever you want and try the hair oiling routine. I like to do it two to three times a week and let me know what your results are like. Let me know what you guys think. I love to hear your thoughts and your comments and follow for more content like this.